Hey guys, so I just wanted to, I, I, I drew some pictures of my dream uh, from the last video and I told you guys I was going to do a recap. Um, so yeah, this is, I tried to draw uh, Sean Combs, I'm just going to call him that. Uh, so it was just, I was just in the dream, like it was just showing him feeling sad and out of place. Um, you know, after the passing of Kim, and um, I was trying to, and then it was more than that, he was trying to find some peace of mind, you know, trying to find, um, like, that complete peace, because, you know, nobody can find peace outside of God, you know, God is the source of peace, God is the one that gives people peace of mind, and, you know, God is the only, Jesus is the only way in access to the Father, and, you know, we will only have peace in Jesus' name. Um, and then I saw, like, in the dream, um, this dog, and, um, he, he got a dog. I don't know what, if it was a literally, like, he, it will be literally, th a literal thing that he will buy a dog, I don't know, but, like, there's a lot of spiritual meanings in dreams, and I try to, to not take them too, too literally all the time, because I know there's hidden messages and meanings in these dreams, um, so I try to make sure I ask God for interpretation, you know, but I still share my dreams because, you know, I know God sends me these dreams. And I know not all the time that, you know, when God sends me these dreams, I would always understand every single thing that in the dream. Um, but I just try my best to, um, you know, I'm just asking God to guide me and the Holy Spirit to guide me as I'm making this video. But um, yes, this was the, uh, he was just feeling sad. And then after that... So I was on YouTube and um, I was warning uh, the, the I was I was making a YouTube video and I was warning the guy about fornication because it was leading. I saw that it was leading him to hell um, because if he was continuing fornication, it was going to lead him to hell. Um, so I was making a, I was making a video, YouTube video, trying to reach him and to warn him um, because this was public in the eye. And, um, you know, there was no other I didn't have any of his contacts or anything like that or phone number. All I. Uh, this was the best way I could uh, warn him. Try to make I tried to draw a YouTube video, um, make it look more like it was YouTube. Um, and then after that, um, then I saw uh, then the scene clipped and I saw him. I saw a picture uh, a picture being drawn for me. Um, I don't know who was drawing the picture, um, but I do know it was being drawn for me and. Um, it was showing this demon, uh, uh, this de this demon, this look, uh, this was a demon, and it looked like shadowy demon, uh, with t it had two horns, um, and then he, and then this, this is the, and this is the guy. I tried to, got, uh, I didn't know how the guy looked like in detail, but I just, I tried to draw him, um, but this is the guy, um, that was being stabbed, uh, with a spear multiple times. I don't know how this demon was holding all these spears at the same time, but I guess it was some demonic power that he had that was stabbing this guy, um, you know, multiple times with spears. Um, so, but the guy didn't seem to be aware of it. He didn't seem to care. It was like, this is while he was on earth. So there's hell on earth and demons do torment people while they're on earth. And, uh, you know, they'll fire darts at you or any kind of weapons against you on earth. Um, but he was spiritually in pain um, uh, uh, while consciously, but like in the spirit, he was um, to the natural, like this demon, like in the spirit was stabbing him multiple times with spears uh, because of his fornication. And this would, and if he were to die, he was still, uh, this is, this is what was going to happen to him. He would be stabbed with spears over him um because of fornication um and then after that the scene clipped and um then i see this minister draw hell and there's this the, there was a person in hell um that this um that was trying to, that was on this that was on this mountain and was trying to climb and find a way and trying to escape hell but um and it was trying to avoid the lava like the fire the lava um um trying to stop he was trying to stop himself from uh, this person was trying to stop um themselves from um from falling into this lava and was trying and was on this mountain climbing and i do recall i remember one time this person I believe, I think it was on YouTube, he was, um, mentioning how he had a dream, 
that uh, and then saw a mountain open and saw all these souls trying to come out like he saw this mountain and it parted and inside of that mountain he saw many souls um from hell trying to climb up and they were trying to reach but they couldn't um so i do know it was on youtube and i was trying to find it um but i remember that you know time he was explaining that it, uh, he saw a bunch of souls trying to climb out and you know they were like in skeleton forms and just a lot of a lava a lot of fire it was very hot um but that's how but uh, yes yeah, so this is how it looked like to me in my dream and you know it was pitch black of course it was pitch black and red um a lot of fire and this person was kept sliding down into the lava um and then after that i can't remember i can't um i remember after that then the person in the comments i can't forget to mention the person in the comments uh section was saying to me something like um something about like um for me to not talk too fast and firm because they couldn't understand what i was saying um i don't know who this person was um in the comment section but uh, they didn't seem i think they seemed kind of upset or like they, they seemed kind of upset or kind of frustrated a little bit um so yes so that was the end of the dream but like i wanted to give two scriptures uh relating to fornication regarding fornication um so i the verse uh the verse i chose is hebrews um the scripture i chose is hebrews chapter hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 and then this is the in and this is the in the east sv version um this is the english for version um let marriage be held in honor among all and let the marriage bed be undefiled for god will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous and another scripture i chose in first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 to 20 in the es version uh, and it says flee from sexual immorality Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. Or do you know not that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not of your own, for you were brought with a price. So glorify God in your body. So God wants to, so remember that this body is a temple. This is a vessel and the Holy Spirit comes when God gives us the Holy Spirit, it comes into us. And, you know, the Holy Spirit doesn't want us sinning against our own body. The Holy Spirit doesn't want to see that, you know, especially since God is dwelling, God's spirit is dwelling inside you. And, you know, and remember to ask the Holy Spirit to help you overcome, you know, whatever sin that you are struggling in because the whole God is here to help. And that's why he sent his Holy Spirit to help you overcome, you know, sin because he knows that, you know, we can't do it of our own. You know, we don't have the power ourselves to overcome sin. It's by the power of God that we can overcome sin. And remember that, you know, marriage is a gift from God between a man and a woman. And, and it should be held in honor and, res and reverence to God. And, and between a man and a woman, between a spouse, you know, it should be held in honor. And people treat marriage like it, in these days, like, like it's nothing, like marriage is a bad thing, you know. And the devil hates marriage. He hates when man and a woman come together in marriage. He hates when they come together, you know, when the spouse is together. He hates that. He doesn't like marriage. So he's trying to destroy marriage. And he tries to pervert sex because God made sex between a man and a woman in marriage. And the devil does not like that. He So he perverts sex. You know, he gets people to do any kind of other sexual perversions and, you know, going after strange flesh. That is, you know, that God did not ordain, you know, for man. You know, God did not ordain for when the angel slept with the woman of the earth. He God did not ordain angels or establish them to go sleep with the woman of the earth you know their place is in the angels place are in heaven and the humans place are are on earth and god does not want you know angels and you know people mingling with strange other flesh and animals no god does not want that you know and the devil tries to mess you know 
that up. So we have to remember to stay holy and to strive to be holy and to continue to pray and ask God for uh, forgiveness because God loves us and he wants us to be um, saved. Anyways, guys, God bless. And I will definitely uh, put this on the description box um, and the scripture in the in description box for you guys. Uh, God bless and take care.